Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Now if you remember the Wise Cam 2 that we set up recently on the channel here, that camera, it's a fantastic HD camera, but it doesn't, or it didn't do a lot of connecting to some of those automation services that we need to really create great functionality in our home. So I'm gonna show you today how to get that out of your $20 Wise Cam 2. Let's go. Okay, so like I said in the intro, the Wisecam 2 is a relatively inexpensive camera. It's got great capabilities in terms of the physical camera, its motion detection, its sound detection. It can detect alarms for you in your home like smoke and carbon monoxide. But what it can't do or couldn't when it first came out is actually connect to any of your other smart home devices. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to start doing that. And then you can go ahead and take what I've shown you and tweak into however you wanted to set up your smart home. So we're gonna go to ifttt.com. If you don't have an account, you're going to need to sign up for one. We're gonna search for WISE and we're gonna connect that service. Now you're going to have to use your username and password that you used when you signed up your WiseCam. And once you do that and you hit authorize, you've then connected the WISE service to if this then that, and now you have a host of different automation things that you can use. There are a number of triggers and actions that you can use through this service. So you could use, like I said, motion sound, smoke alarm, carbon monoxide alarm, all of those can be triggers. You also, on the flip side, have all of the actions. Now, I'm going to create a new applet, and every day at 11 p.m., I'm going to enable motion detection. So I'm gonna search for WISE, and here I'm going to enable motion detection. Now you could see I chose all cameras. You could choose a specific camera if you wanted, and you could enable this applet multiple times. Now after that, I'm going to create a second applet, and again, I'm gonna use the date and time service. I'm gonna choose 7 a.m. in the morning, and here I'm going to disable my Wise Cam motion detection. So I'm choosing disable, all cameras, and I create the action. So now I have motion detection whenever I go to sleep at night. But when I leave my home, and this is a pre-made one that's right on the Wise Cam page, I want to disable the motion detection when I'm at home and enable it when I'm away. So I'm going to choose all cameras and then you have to choose the area. So this is just like a Google map. You just hit the plus and the minus and then you just go find your home's location, choose that and then you'll save that applet as well. Now on the flip side, I want to enable motion detection when I leave home. So all cameras again, and of course I've chosen my home as the location. So both of those are now enabled. Now I just wanna show you if you were to use WiseCam as the trigger, here like I said, motion sound, smoke alarms, and carbon monoxide alarms. Those alarms can all be detected and then be the trigger. So again, motion detection, I can create a trigger and Here's what you have access to from this motion detection. You can see a Boolean value of motion detected and a trigger time. So that was that's actually the time that your WiseCam picked up the motion. One thing to note is you don't actually have access to the physical file that your WiseCam connects. So that's not available just yet on the if this then that service. Now moving on, I'm gonna choose an action service here and I'm actually going to choose my Philips Hue lights. You could of course use anything and something that's going to be the most useful is like a siren. But I'm just gonna turn on a light on a color loop. You would obviously have to choose a light that has that capability. I have one in my home here 
and I can hit create action and that's all implemented. Now one last thing I want to show you, this is really useful as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to use a Samsung SmartThings motion detector to trigger recording. Regardless of whether or not my Wise Cam has picked up motion, so I'm going to choose any new motion from Samsung SmartThings. And now I'm going to choose the device. Now my motion sensor is far away from my Wise Cam, but it's close enough that my Wise Cam would see it when I record the short video clip. So that's the action I'm choosing from Wise Cam. I'm going to choose that specific camera and I'm going to create the action. So there I have now the capability of recording based off of other sensors or other things in my home. You could do this with water sensors. You could do this with any type of sensor you have in your home attached to whatever automation system as long as it connects to if this then that. So I think this is really great functionality and I hope this has given you a lot to work with with WiseCam and of course just with how cheap that camera is this is now a great option for those of us looking to improve our smart home.